Good morning, boys and girls of the internet. Let's see if we can see the goats real quick. Come here. There's one. There's the other one. I don't know if you can see him or not. He's brown. He's right there. This camera to zoom back out. There we go. Over here we got a little spooter. Little guy just chilling. All kinds of wildlife out here today, huh? Today's about the, uh, got some chickens or roosters crowing over there. Today we're working on my, my building that I'm throwing together. I haven't done any videos on this because I've just been too busy. But uh, I went to go get my lumber yesterday from Lowe's. I couldn't get any anybody to help me load it. And this stuff is heavy. It adds up. This true floor. So I got five pieces. I needed eight. Once again, I couldn't get anybody to help me. And uh, it, uh, it's not good on my back. So... I got five pieces on my cart. I got five pieces to the front, and then I couldn't even get anybody to help me load it from my cart to my truck. So I did it myself. About killed myself, and then I went to leave, and the truck fired up, backed out of its spot, and died right there in the middle of the aisle at Lowe's, the parking aisle. And uh, I fought with this truck for about 45 minutes, almost an hour. Uh, I beat the fuel pumps, thinking maybe they weren't working because they didn't sound too good. I uh, Pulled my plug wires and readjusted my distributor thinking maybe it got too hot and the timing curve wasn't just right because it was all it ran awfully hot uh not on purpose it was running normal i mean warmer than normal when i got there and then when i cut it off and i came back out to leave i got in it and the temperature gauge pegged and so i readjusted my timing and that didn't help i checked all my wires and stuff under the hood none of that helped i purge the fuel system for some reason these fords this isn't the first one i've had do this you run it too low on gas which i know i did you cut the switch on you pop the hood you press the uh check valve on the fuel rail which uh the gas will either squirt out of it if it's gas or if it's air it'll just pssst. and it just kept doing that over and over and over until i finally got gas up and then it still wouldn't light off and then I, the battery was almost dead, and I just kept playing with it and playing with it. And then finally, it fired up. And the bottom end of this truck, the motor, was it was knocking like, like it was really, really bad. I thought I had done it in. Uh, and it ran for a few minutes, and it got a little bit quieter. And I revved it up, and it just sounded like woodpeckers in the motor. And I said, you know what? It's running. I'm hitting the road. If I make it halfway home, that's a, that cuts my towing bill in half. Right? Right. So I, I jumped in and I picked up all my tools, I took off, and believe it or not, I drove this truck all the way home. I mean, it was bottom end, just, just banging away. And uh, the longer I drove it, the quieter it got. And then by the time I got home, um, it was all on the top end. The valve train was just chattering like mad, but the bottom end, it quit knocking. And now... Now it's just a tick. Now it's just ticking. Which is, that's pretty much how it sounded before. So it fixed itself. I was already trying to think of what motor I was going to throw in it. Maybe a newer 4.0 or uh, 302 or something. But it uh, looks like she's not quite ready to die yet. Um, I drove my other truck to work this morning because I did have to work. Uh, Worked a half day and now I'm home. Now we're gonna try to get all this unloaded. My buddy Steve's gonna come help me later. I don't want to bother him just yet though, but I got I got all my joists and stuff in, everything's set. But I said I need to get this unloaded. This is some heavy stuff. Need to get it loaded, need to get the grooves cleaned out. I banged it up a little bit on the corners trying to load it myself. I'm, I'm telling you, I really just kind of pissed me off, but whatever. We're good. Got five sheets out of the... I need three more sheets to be able to do my entire floor today, which is the goal, the end goal. So, 
but yep i'm gonna get this mess cleaned up get my flooring laid down get it hammered all up together and figure out where i gotta cut it around my post on the corner because i did not do this professionally or anything you know we're just kind of half-assing it but whatever so let's get to it and uh, i'll do another video later this afternoon once we get some progress made so thank you guys for watching sorry for the delay on videos and stuff like that i've just had i got a lot of stuff going on folks trying to get caught up trying to get this thing put together so i have somewhere to put my stuff since the storm tore everything i had apart but yeah all right let's get on it 